Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. Well, hello there, you wonderful pet parent. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jessica, and this is the Pet Parenting Reset. So today we are talking about ways to reduce your cat's stress. And this is such an important topic because, you know, a lot of us think that cats are, cats are the simple animal. They're easy to take care of. Just put some food down and they're good. No, 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 no. Um, they're not lazy animals, though a lot of us think they are. They are not lazy. Um, and understand that most of our cats are bored and a bored cat is a stressed cat because it is not their nature to be so inactive. Some signs of stress in our cats are aggression, over grooming, um, being skittish, especially to sudden noises, um, refusing to play with toys. These are all stress responses. So, um, and a lot of people don't realize how stressed their cats are because they're really good at hiding their anxiety. They're really good at hiding. They don't feel good. They're really good at hiding all kinds of things. And over time, stress and anxiety can and do lead to disease. So it's really, really, really important that we are working with our cats to create a stress-free zone for them at least as much as possible. So really quickly before we get into today's podcast, I would just like to give you a reminder to please um, rate the podcast and give us a follow. This is the best way to help get our message out to other pet parents. And that's the goal, right? I need you to help boost the signal. So rate it, give us a five star and give us a follow. And I also hope you share the podcast with anyone in your um, life, friends, family, others <laughs> that uh, have pets in their life or maybe considering getting a pet in their life. I think it can be very beneficial. That's the goal here is to help pets in their pet parents. So let's talk about ways to reduce stress for our cats. The very first way is going to be with exercise. Now, if you have already, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while now, uh, September was happy cat month. So we did a whole episode on, uh, I had so many, I have so many, so many tips about raising a happy, healthy cat. And Exercise is so important. It's so important that we talked about it actually multiple times. Uh, playing with your cat every day, interactive play with your cat every day, and a little something that I call stock hunt, kill, eat, clean, sleep. Oh my goodness. If you have not heard of this, if you have not been listening to the podcast, definitely go back and check out, uh, check out the episode about cats being nocturnal and are our cats nocturnal was the question because you might be surprised with that answer. Uh, I talk about it in detail there and also go back to the uh, how to raise a happy, healthy cat episode. Of course, check out all the episodes, but um, those two in particular, if you are wondering what I mean by hunt, stalk, stalk, yeah, hunt, stalk, <laughs> kill, eat, clean, sleep. That is something we need to be providing for our, our cats every day, every day. Confidence. So um, again, we're talking about exercise, but we're talking about play time and we are talking about confidence building sessions. So getting rid of all distractions, just you and your cat one-on-one. -on -one. If you have multiple cats, we actually want to, um, if at all possible, have it be just you and one cat at a time. So, you know, go into another room if you have to, uh, whatever it may mean for you, but having these confidence building sessions, letting our cats uh, actually obtain a physical 
toy is is really what it is but in their mind a prey and then feeding them oh right after oh my gosh this is going to help build their confidence it's going to help reduce stress hugely 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 um so just you and your cat and really really wonderful do this for a good 15 minutes every single day let them just act on their instincts and become that predator that they naturally are without any other pets or people around let them be comfortable as the as them as the wonderful incredible hunters that they are and build their confidence uh, another thing we did talk about uh, before but we're going to talk about it again is providing outdoor time for your cat supervised outdoor time for your cat there's something called adventure cats that i have recently become aware of and that is very interesting to me but um you don't have to go all crazy and, and be an adventure cat or have your cat be an adventure cat but providing supervised outdoor time is so incredibly important let your cat enjoy nature as they were meant to um being safe of course and even if that means you put your cat on a leash or if you buy some fancy schmancy um, outdoor cat condo that your cat can enjoy during the day whatever that means for you and your cat it's so incredibly important to get the fresh air and to have your cat's feet actually touch the ground and the grass and the dirt. There's so much benefit in all of that. Um, but it, yeah, that's also helping to reduce stress and anxiety in our cats. There are also lots of holistic uh, herbs and supplements that we can provide to our cats. I know that some people are for CBD, some people are not. I think that finding a quality CBD oil that is specifically designed for cats um, can be beneficial, but understand that not all cats are gonna like it. In fact, I have one cat, Sissy, who um, she just, she, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't enjoy it. So I get that, um, it's just like us different things make us feel different ways and sometimes we might like that and sometimes we might not like that so um there's also flower essences and essential oils uh these are wonderful wonderful things that we can help bring into our cats lives there is a solution from feline essentials called cat calm um i if you go to my link tree which you can find from the show notes so um, definitely check out, if you go to the petparentingreset.com um, or even if you just go to jessicaelfisher.com, whichever one you go to, uh, you can get to my link tree. And the uh, Two cra Feline Essentials by the Two Crazy Cat Ladies is linked in my link tree and you can get to their shop. And Cat Calm is actually a supplement that they sell and that I use with my cats. So I definitely recommend that. And then the essential oils, I love. I only recommend veterinary grade essential oils and the only ones I know of are Animalio. So there are some really wonderful blends that Dr. Melissa Shelton has created with Animalio that I highly recommend as well. Um, so yeah, more the more natural, the better. The next thing I wanna talk about for reducing stress in your cat is their food. Gosh, I know I talk about this so much, but it is directly related, what the food you feed is directly related to their overall stress, their anxiety, their health, and their well being. Dry food is high in carbohydrates, period, full stop, end of story. You cannot make kibble without carbohydrates, regardless of what type of carbohydrate they use. And they can say they use this type or they use that type or they don't use grains or whatever, they still contain carbohydrates. And Carbohydrates create inflammation in the body. Inflammation creates nutritional stress, but also social stressors. So, you know, feed a healthier diet to reduce stress. High in animal protein with low or no carbohydrates because cats actually do not have a nutritional requirement for carbohydrates. All right, the next thing on the list for reducing stress in your cat is hunting. 
Cats are predators. They are both predator and prey. We have talked about this, but they are predators. So the sequence that I was talking about earlier, we're bringing it back up here. Hunt, stop, kill, eat, clean, sleep. This is so important to our cats. But I want to throw in something else here because there are something called hunting feeders. These are absolutely wonderful. They are linked on my Amazon store front, which you can actually, again, get to from my link tree. So go to the petparentingreset.com and, and find my link tree there. Um, uh, yeah, H -h -h cats, like their favorite pastime is hunting mice. So hunting feeders are this really amazing way. Um, Doc and Phoebe's has two different kinds. There's a wet hunting feeder and a dry hunting feeder. These are really wonderful ways to help enrich your cat's environment and offer them the, the, the hunting that they may be missing. So they're basically the dry feeders, which you can put dry food in, which I don't recommend. Freeze dried food, I do recommend. Um, that's what I use. Treats in, which I prefer single ingredient treats anytime I can get them. Um, yeah, so uh, put the freeze dried raw or the treats in these hunting feeders and hide them. It is amazing. Your cat is gonna smell them. They're gonna find them. That's gonna be hunting behavior for them. They're going to get that reward of that food or treat when they do, and that is going to help satisfy. Now, this does not take the place of that routine we were talking about earlier, which we should absolutely be doing with our cats at least one, once a day, but this is something in addition to that can be very beneficial for our cats. So really, um, Honoring our cats as the species that they are, they are a different species from us. And that was the overarching, like, if I got nothing else through to you, big tip is honoring them as their beautiful, incredible feline species, right? Um, yeah, so the final thing that we're gonna talk about for reducing stress in our cats, this is gonna be our final tip for today, is reducing your stress. Oh yes, our stress, definitely has a huge impact on the other beings in our home, whether they are um, your dog or your cat or your husband or your children. But today we're talking about cats. So cats can smell fear. Cats can smell changes in your anxiety levels. They, it's scientifically proven Cats can smell cortisol, which is the stress hormone that we give off when we're stressed, when we're anxious. And our cats have 200 million scent sensors in their olfactory system, their nose. They can smell our cortisol levels from a mile away. And when they are elevated, they know it. So we really need to do our best to keep our stress and anxiety under control, meditation, exercise, healthy eating, calming music, whatever you need to do, check in with yourself, keep yourself calm. That is going to help your cat stay calmer and reduce their stress and anxiety. So those were the tips for today for reducing the stress in your cat. I hope all of these tips were helpful. Um, if you need to go back and re-listen and make some notes, I know there were a lot of tidbits in this one. So guys, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's podcast. Please join us, become part of the family over on Patreon. I can't wait to see you over there. You get all new and exclusive content and first access to content that goes up on other social media sites as well. And make sure you are following the Pet Parenting Reset on whatever social media site you are on, whether that is Facebook, there's also a Facebook group. Um, of course, Patreon, as I said, YouTube and Rumble. So wherever I am, it is the Pet Parenting Reset. Can't wait to see you guys there. Please make sure to rate this podcast and if you're not already following give us a follow share it with other pet parents and yeah yeah give your dog and your cat some extra love from me today until next week bye guys hey thanks for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video